Okay, so since one of my last videos, a lot of people were asking me about shoulder adjustments. Um, and I have another video if you guys want to learn about shoulder pain. Um, I think it's called, the, I'll put a link to it, but it's a solution to shoulder pain. Um, but one part of that, I did talk about adjusting the shoulder joint. And I wanted to go over that today because um, we have Nadia here and she was having... Hi. You have shoulder problems pain. with... Okay, so you have a fall. Shoulder. Yeah, I fell a couple okay. weeks ago. She fell on her arm a couple weeks ago. On my elbow. On her elbow. And then since then... I've had a lot of pain in my upper arm and also in this area a little bit. Okay, so she's having pain in her upper arm and in the shoulder joint and she's feeling limited. One of the things we talked about was, first of all, getting the posture and the, and the thoracic wall correct. But the other thing that happens is this bone right here has a bit of a ball on the top that's supposed to fit in the socket. And it's held in by connective tissue. It's a really mobile joint, but it also means that that connective tissue, if you jam it, if you put excess stress, can um, become damaged a bit and it won't hold the ball in the socket correctly. So sometimes what needs to happen is we need to push that ball into the socket so that the connective tissue around it can start to heal properly. So I'm going to show you how that's done right now. And we already checked and what we found is that's what's happening on this left side. So here we have an arm bone. It's got a little bit of a ball at the top. I'm going to just take this bone. So you're going to let that go loose. I'm going to put it into position like this. Try to let that all drop. And I'm going to pretty much bring this bone where it's dropped and bring it right into there. And you can hear that pop. Yeah. And usually... That felt good. <laughs> felt good. A lot of people that have had shoulder problems forever will immediately get, regain their full range of motion. Yeah. Pain will that go down. The idea there is that along with the things I talked about in the other video will allow the healing to that hasn't been able to take place to take place. Sometimes if the problem is bad enough, we have to actually have to support the shoulder in place so that it's, the connective tissue has been damaged and have a chance to heal. But I've seen problems that have existed for years resolve in a matter of weeks by giving the body, or by finally giving the body the opportunity that it's been looking for to heal an injury such as what Nadia's had or any other sort of shoulder injury that people have. So thanks for watching, uh, lots of comments, and share and follow and all that, and I'll talk to you guys soon.